Violence, vandalism, addiction, a leafy suburb turned into a junk-strewn nightmare, a Birmingham neighbourhood which claims it's under siege. You name it, we've seen it. We've had people, um, cars attacked on the road, just on this stretch here. There was seven vehicles in one night, right. wing mirrors of cars being attacked, the hypodermic needles in the tyres. The problem here, and in other cities, is family homes being turned into what's called exempt accommodation which house high densities of troubled tenants. Providers charge the council inflated rates and are supposed to provide the tenants additional support, but we've found the system's flawed. The majority of them are drug addicts. Uh, some of them have got mental health. Uh, some of them are alcoholics. There was a guy recently who took an overdose and died in the house up upstairs as well. So there is a quite a lot going on here. Emma lives in an exempt property which she currently has to herself, but recently shared. Emma sent this video to her landlord complaining her flatmates were taking crack cocaine in the communal area. This ain't a crack house and he said that none of you are smoking it. She says the man in this video died three weeks later and the requisite support was lacking. I kept complaining and I said it's not right. I said what they're doing isn't right and then about three weeks later, that's when the guy upstairs got found dead. And I turned around and I said to the staff here, I said, I told you. Providers, Oxhill House, say they did offer support and the resident died of a lung condition. But a Sky News investigation has found a systemic problem. With other providers, there are reports of domestic violence victims being placed with men who have a history of violence. This man, Spencer Hobson, was not risk assessed by his provider in Northampton before he stabbed his flatmate to death. There was a similar case in Birmingham last year. It was these people either they come from prison, they uh, uh, you know ha have drug habits, all sorts of yeah. you know the, the unsociable sort of people that you don't want here and so on. And it's also become very difficult because a lot of families still got children here, um, and often you know walking down the streets you'll see condoms, you'll see needles, you'll see all sorts of things. And oversupply of exempt homes means families are getting stuck in temporary properties. The mother of two toddlers living here for a year didn't want to appear on camera. You can see the mold on the door. And all the clothes are smelling as well. Windows are broken. It's damp and infested. Mouse is in the drawer. Oh, God, yeah. Can you see there? His mouse is around, his cockroach is around, because I've, I've sto I'm storing everything in these containers, which are easy for me now. The transient, often overpopulated houses turn streets into dumping grounds. In Birmingham, exempt accommodation has doubled in 18 months, and the council says they can't stop landlords, some linked to organised crime, from funnelling problems into their communities. So we know that there's a lot of um, providers and organisations that are directly going to places like probation services or prisons or other places like that outside of, Birmingham? Outside of the city and asking them, you know, we've got properties, do you want to actually let, you know, let through us? And these are providers that we wouldn't necessarily put people in ourselves as the local, local authority. So you can, you can understand why some people on some streets say it feels like we're living in an open prison. Absolutely, and we've got absolute empathy for them. Birmingham and other councils want greater powers to contain the problem. The Ministry of Housing told Sky News we're currently running extended pilots in five areas, backed by £5.4 million, trialling new approaches to crack down on the small number of landlords who provide inadequate support to vulnerable people living in supported housing. The housing regulator says it's monitoring non-compliance in this sector, but many say the system is simply a mess and needs urgently changing. Jason Farrell, Sky News.